Alright guys, ZFR Gaming back here again today, and that's right, we are reviewing the Arcwing quest in Warframe. Not only are we reviewing that, we are reviewing Arcwing itself. Now, before anybody complains, let me just say once again, I'm sorry if you can hear that loud PS4 in the background. Don't worry, I have a new one, that problem will finally be over soon, so if you've been waiting for that, um, yeah, just keep your fingers crossed it's going to um be over in the next few days so yeah um anyway getting into this review for the arc wing now just so you guys know i've been grinding at warframe for the past couple of days because recently all of my um saves and save files and pretty much every game I've owned has been deleted. Like, because <laughs> I had to internalize my PS4, it deleted everything. Like, it even got rid of, I don't even, I don't know if it's supposed to do this, but it even did something to all my trophies and stuff. So, like, I'm pretty much having to um, re-earn everything. Even though I'm still on the exact same account, like, it just deleted everything, dude. So, um, yeah, but anyway... It's what I had to do so I can actually, you know, play games and get um, videos out to you guys. So that's what I'm doing. Um, but anyway, pretty much um, we're doing this review for Warframe Arcwing. And the reason we're doing this review is because, man, I played this junk recently. And I'm not going to lie. It was um, pretty nice. It was definitely better than the first time I played it. And... I, I know you guys are sick of hearing about this video, but in my Warframe vs. Destiny video, one of the big complaints was um, that Warframe does have a good story and all that, and it's still one story over Destiny. Now, I'm still not 100% sore uh, um, sore about that from what I've played so far, but I will say this. Um, if it keeps going on the way it does, it might, it, it definitely might win. Um... And for the simple fact, you have to keep in mind, back when I played Warframe for the first time, please do keep in mind, sorry if that PS4 is getting loud, I'm moving closer to it. Um, but, yeah, like, if you played Warframe back in the, like, way back, like, two, three years ago, or a year ago when all this stuff was first coming out like I did, please remember that you were getting the first taste of this you were getting like the um beta mode and all that like you weren't getting like a finished product at first like freaking arcwing no please god nobody try to deny this <laughs> i swear don't do not try to deny this arcwing was trash when it first came out it was boring and there was no point to it like it was just trash when it first came out um, after playing this, it actually felt a lot better. It was fun. It was, um, it was actually a fun time, you know, zi zipping around, space suiting, space ships and all that, you know, and I've played a couple more missions of it so far, and so far I've been having fun with all of them. Um, now I will also say, um, the, the actual Arcwing gameplay and stuff isn't the part of this, um, little quest that impressed me it was the last mission which you're seeing in the background now where you pretty much attack um a ship and i did i can't remember if we saw this the first time around like, i can't remember if they had this in here when i first played it but you can actually see the fallout of the grenier and the uh, um corpus like for the first part of the game which wasn't was definitely wasn't the way it was when I first started playing Warframe. For the first part of the game, the Grenier and the Corpus, they make it clear that they are in a, some kind of alliance together. And when I first played the game, that that was not there. Like, they did not make that clear in any way. And remember, I started playing Warframe three years ago. So this is back before they even started with this quest stuff and everything. They had not even touched this. And don't forget, there's no way to replay quests. So... I had no way of going back to actually look at this, um, look at all this new stuff they were adding. So, it's kind of a good thing that I get to go back and stuff, um, even though I had to lose all my stuff to do it. But, um, yeah, anyway, 
Like, you get to see the fallout of the Grenier and the Corpus, and you get to kind of see them turn on each other as a faction. And you can actually see that in this small conversation right here. Tenno, tensions between the Grenier and Corpus are boiling over. You're here to find out what the Corpus know. For too long, the Corpus have extorted the Grenier. Throw back. Consider our contracts cancelled. This is a hostile takeover. Not wise, Counselor. I was hoping the Tello had taught you a little humility when they destroyed your precious Fomorian fleet. <laughs> Did you really believe the Tenno destroyed all my Fomorians? Alright, just figure I let that play for you guys for a second. But um yeah, that was really cool to me. That um added a big piece to the story in my opinion. That glued uh that kinda made the rest of the game make sense. Like it kinda made Water Grenier would battle with the corpus um in certain areas make more sense. And like I said, I definitely don't think that was there the first time I played Arkwing. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think it was. So um it was probably a little stealth patch they added in there with one of their um patches that they had, like one of the bigger bigger patches that they recently had. So it was great to see that. Um I'm also currently playing some other quests and getting ready to send out some views for those. Um, but yeah, Arcwing, like, like I said, it was fun. Now, the only weak point at, of this quest is the whole little, you know, run around and collect the parts things from, um, the same generic missions. Like, I would like something a little bit different. Like, maybe you have to take the parts from, like, some bosses or something or some interesting, um, boss type enemies of some kind, you know, like... Um, I know they have those big Grenier dudes that, um, can come on, can, that can come after you just like the Stalker. Like, maybe have us track, track, like, them down separately and take the parts or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, give us a little bit of twist on what we do to get the parts at first. That was the only weak point of quest. It was still better, um, than the normal missions, I would say, um, because, you know, you actually had a bigger point. The plane is missing because you want to get a part at the end that's going to help you contribute to um, a Arcwing thing. And smart move by DE by making it to where you don't have to, um, what, what what's the word I'm looking for? You don't have to wait like so freaking long to um, build these parts. Like it only took about, what, 10 minutes to build each um, Arcwing part and like maybe fit um, 10 minutes or 20 minutes to build like the entire Arcwing. So, yeah, like, you could basically finish this quest, um, within, like, an hour or two, which I really like. Um, I wish Warframe did have shorter wait times. I get why they do have long wait times on stuff like weapons and stuff and armor and characters. But it's just nice when you get to, um, go through and experience something, you know, at a decent pace. I feel like this quest was decently paced. Um, but anyway, guys... I really did enjoy this quest. Um, like I said, I'm going to be reviewing some of the other ones and stuff. So just keep your eyes open for that. Um, I give Arcwing a 8 out of 10 um, for the quest in Warframe. Hopefully, there are more like this. I was really impressed that they upgraded this quest so much from the first time I played it. Back when it first came out. Like... Lots of upgrades to the Arcwing system and everything to the way it works, the way it feels. I like it. And one more little nitpick. It's a very small one, but I do wish they added more animations to the Arcwing. Like, for instance, you'll see throughout this video, um, there were points where I was flying really fast at enemies, but, um, like, and I was shooting, but my gun was still pointing, like, in the wrong direction. Like, maybe 
add like an animation where you can kind of fly backwards like that and stuff you know and just suit like just add an animation there to immerse us in it a little bit more. That's all I'm asking for. But, um, yeah, it still gets an 8 out of 10, 10. Um, it was a really great quest. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the... <laughs> I said don't forget to hit the leave. Don't forget to hit the like button. And don't forget to, um, hit the subscribe button as well. And leave a comment, um, down below. I really enjoy seeing what you guys think of my content and stuff. But um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video. ZFR out, guys.